What you guys, if you're looking for a cheap backup and storage solution, then this video is for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Terramaster F2210. Now these are a two bay affordable NAS drive, which are optimized for home users and small offices. They have a quad core processor, which is the ARM V8 64 bit quad core, and it also runs at 1.4 gigahertz. Now the data transfer speeds on this for your reads and writes are 114 megabytes per second. You can use this for a home media uh, setup if you want to. Use it for your storing all your files. Use Plex on here. You can back up all your data. It has multiple layer of data security on here. You can do pretty much what you like with this little NAS drive and it's a great way to get into uh, NAS storage. Now you can see here, this is what you're going to get in a kit. You're going to get everything in here that you need to get up and running. You've got your power cable here. This is your uh, three pin plug here for UK. You also have your Ethernet cable here. This will plug into the back of the unit and straight into your router. You also have some screws here. This is to mount your um, uh, drives, whether you want to mount three and a half inch drives or two and a half inch drives, whether you want mechanical drives or solid state drives is entirely up to you what you go for. This means this can take up to 14 terabytes of space inside those uh, two drive bays there. You've got your power brick here, you've got some warranty uh, stickers and also you've got your easy setup user manual uh, which is pretty straightforward and easy to do. You've got some different languages here as well. Now also we do have a couple of USB ports on the back which you can plug in extra hard drives on here if you wish to and uh, we'll take a look at that a little bit later on. So you can see here we have our two bays. We also have our hard drive uh, lights here, our LAN light and also our uh, power light and you've got the power button, your two drive bays. This is made of aluminium or aluminum depending on uh, where you come from in the world. These are made of plastic, the outer casings of these drive bays here. You just screw them in and uh, pretty much that's it. So it's not the tallest design but you just screw the drive in inside here and then you can slot it into the actual unit itself and you're pretty much good to go for there. I'll show you how to do those in a second. So let me just quickly remove this one here and uh, we can take a closer look inside here. Now the build construction of this is pretty decent. Now I've been using one of these uh, for a number of years and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Nice and quiet, runs really quiet here. And that's due to the quality fan that you have inside here. And again, with it uh, being aluminium, which means it dissipates the heat pretty well. Now, if you're getting into uh, NAS storage for the first time, you can see this is a good starting point here. Runs pretty quiet when you've run this uh, all the time. You can't hardly hear it. You've got your USB ports here, which are USB 3.0. You've got two of those on the here. You get your gigabit Ethernet LAN port and also your power port here. Now, I'm going to be putting in here two Toshiba 3 terabyte drives. You can put in here two 8 terabytes if you wish. Uh, but these are affordable, they are pretty affordable price and uh, as you can see here the prices range quite a lot depending on the size of the storage that you're going to be using. Now these are £63.99 for P300s, 3 terabyte storage Toshibas. Now these weren't designed for NAS storage but I've used them for NAS storage before and I've had no problems. If you want to go up the food chain a bit you can get the X300 4 terabytes as well or you can go for the Seagate's if you wish, the Iron Wolf, if you want to go down that route, you can do. It's more expensive, uh, but if you want to go uh, down the cheaper route to keep it as cheap as possible, you can use these drives for storage or backup. They work perfectly fine, and I've had no problems with them whatsoever. You've got the 6 terabytes here, which is the uh, Performance X300s as well, and you can see they're pretty reasonable price as well. You just screw them into the little caddies using the four screws, and then they slot straight into here. Push the bottom part and then clip it into position like so. Very simple and easy to uh, get into the actual caddy there. It's not that difficult and uh, you can just screw those in with the, the screws that come in the kit. Just wire it all up with the power cable and the ethernet cable and you're pretty much good to go. Now on the left you can see here we have the older version of Terramaster which I've been using for a number of years. And I've had no problems with it whatsoever, so it's been working very well. On the right, you can see the Synology version there, which is fully loaded with Iron Wolf um, drives in there, which has all my backups and stuff and movies and music and stuff like that. And also have some other storage available as well, Western Digital and another uh, type of uh, NAS drive as well, which I use. So let's log into the desktop application so we can see what we've got here. You can see it gives us all the information about the drives, and it also gives you loads of information 
about uh, the quality of the drive, what condition it's running in, uh, what RAID you're using and how you've set it all up and things like that. I'm not going into the setup process. I've made videos on that in the past, but this is a great way to store your data and also even make uh, backups to this uh, NAS drive on a regular basis from your phone. You can access it remotely. You can do whatever you like, really. You've got a useful get started help guide here, which tells you how to do certain stuff. If you're not familiar with NAS drives, it's very helpful and very intuitive. It helps you out a lot. Also, you can see here we do have this little application open here, which tells us the amount of storage I've got left. You can see I've already got this one pretty full and also tells you the total memory uh, on the unit and the CPU usage and the resources that you've got using on here. It's a very nice bit of kit. I do like it for, for the money. It's a really decent bit of kit for the money. And if you haven't got a NAS drive, then buying something like this is going to help you uh, store all that data you can either set it up as just mass storage or you can set it up as raid and uh, redundancy and stuff like that and, and make it uh, back up all your data on a regular basis you can do loads of things with this nas drive or you can even set it up as a home media uh, storage where you can put all your movies and music on there and stream them throughout your home so it's a very useful uh, nas drive here you've got remote access you've got your help area you've got your backup here this is to help you uh, do backups for all the stuff on your network as you can see here very useful indeed you've got all your time machine there back up to usb back up to tnas you've got loads of different options here you can settle this up how you like you also have your control panel here and your recycle bin and your applications and your file manager so let's go into the control panel now the control panel is where you can Get access to all your tools and features so you can see here we do have uh, all our privileges here for our users and our user groups and our shared folders we can get access to here we can add in new users if we want to we've got access to our network services like network file services telnet web server um, discovery service and all that sort of stuff so you can set all this up inside here how you like it and uh, you can also give people um, user groups and users access to your network from outside of your network or in, in your local network depending on how you want to set it up you've got access to your hard drive raid uh, update and recovery here this is to update the uh, actual uh, desktop application here and you can see manual updates i'll make a video and show you how to do that and you can keep this all up to date here you've also got a bunch of other stuff here as well now also we do have access to file manager this allows you to set up new folders on your NAS drive get access to the admin account or public which might be outside your network you may have friends or family you want to give access to your NAS drive to you can map a network drive to your computer if you wish by uh, going to map a network drive here and this will give you access to all the drives and uh, different folders on your uh, NAS drive so you don't have to keep going into that um, desktop uh, application if you don't want to uh, you can also uh, do a bunch of other stuff on here as well which I'll show you now you can test the hard drives to make sure the hard drives are running okay it will give you information about that and also you can test the uh, smart information on the drive to see whether the drives are in good working health and it will give you information about the drives as well uh, so hard drive one you can see here gives you all the information about the stop start account and uh, spin up time and all that sort of information it gives you all that information about the drive itself um, you've got a bunch of other stuff here let's just uh, get a map network drive going here so if you want to map a network drive you can do you can map one of these folders to your uh, computer so you don't have to keep going into that application there if you wanted to do that you just right click on one of these uh, folders and you can also go map network drive and you can also you can see the information here give it a drive letter and uh, you can connect using different uh, credentials if you wish but I'm just gonna leave that as is and click finish you can see the drives are in good health there they've come up clean they're okay and now we should have a map network drive on our computer here which I can just click on and it'll give me access to the admin folder uh, there now another good thing about NAS drives is not just a backup here, it's also about applications that you can use to do certain things on your NAS drive because everyone's got different things they want to do with their NAS drive, whether it be backing up, it may be other things that they want to do uh, like um, uh, email servers and stuff like that. You can see applications are available which you can just install 
and you can install more than one of these at any one time and there's a bunch of them on here that do all different things uh, for your NAS drive and remember this is a very affordable NAS drive which gives you plenty of uh, options available you can see a Jamula there you've got a PHP BB and uh, you've got a bunch of other stuff on there as well PHP my admin snapshot and also we've got a bunch of other stuff in here like docker and we have git and you can see there's uh, other stuff like multimedia server you have plex on here mail servers uh, we also have wordpress you can even do dropbox our clone itunes server so if you wanted to set this up as an itunes server for all your music around your home you can do you can do dropbox, dropbox sync here so the list is endless really. You can also install Acronis on your computers and on your other devices and make that back up to your NAS drive. You can do that also, which is another great way to keep all your data safe. Now remember, it's backup, backup, backup. So having backups in different locations is an ideal way of keeping your data safe. Some people like to put it in the cloud, some people like to have some on a NAS drive, and some people like to have them on an external drive in a fireproof safe or whatever it is, whatever your strategy is, having a NAS drive is a good starting point. Now at this price point, it's very affordable. You can see here, 139 pounds and 99 pence will get you a two bay uh, storage which means you could have this in raid which means if one drive fails you'll have a backup on the other drive and also you can have a four bay one for as little as 239 pounds and 99 pence depending on how much data you have you can put in smaller drives larger drives whatever floats your boat really but having a NAS drive in the first place is a must-have better kit and everyone should be thinking about having a NAS drive in 2019 now remember you've got the cost of the NAS drive, this comes with no hard drive so you will have to buy the two hard drives. But if you've got two affordable hard drives with a NAS drive it's a very affordable way to back up. And remember you can have this backed up here, you can have some sort of backblaze set up as well and you can also back up to somewhere else on your computer. So you've got three different places where you've got your data, off site, on site whatever it is you want us to do whatever your strategy is you should always have more than one backup in place anyway if you're interested i'll leave the link in the video description don't be one of these people that leaves it to the last minute and then you get hit by ransomware that encrypts all your data you'll be gutted if it happens get something like this and uh, also have other backup plans in place and you should be good to go my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.